Good afternoon. Good afternoon, Columbia County Library, <laughs> Evan, CSRA, Georgia, and the world on YouTube. So how are you doing? Did you have a good weekend? I hope you did. We've got a bunch of great classes coming up this week. So very glad that you're here with me this afternoon. So our big class we're doing today is the Cut the Cable. The basics of cord cutting, and it's September, so happy September everybody and let me see one thing let's see happy happy very glad that you're here mm -hmm. and welcome welcome of course hey, okay all right so let's go ahead and talk about some of the stuff we're going to be covering today and of course some of the other classes that we have coming up as well <laughs> apparently my yellow shirt is looking transparent so a little bit of a ghost there there you go all right so as as i always say please feel free to kind of post any comments into the chat chat i'm happy to reply to them in any way very glad that you're here and the big question i usually ask is how can i help so one of the things today is we're going to be talking about cutting the cord saving some money um, with uh, cutting the cable or at least maybe giving you more options so let's go ahead and we'll talk about oh there's a little bit of delay in the chat so definitely feel free to post anything in there and of course do a welcome as well so it's a new month so let's talk about our new schedule so our schedule for this month of course today is the first so we're doing quite in the up, uh, excuse me cut the cable basics of cord cutting and tomorrow morning we're gonna be doing chess 101 so come join me for that and then the afternoon we're gonna be doing library resources and the apps okay on the third in the morning we're gonna be doing YouTube 101 so kind of if you want to be a superstar <laughs> if you want to be a superstar or at least learn how you can post things to YouTube learn more about using YouTube and of course, if you want to learn about making money on YouTube, there is a big hurdle, but there are other options on there as well. And then Thursday afternoon, we're going to be doing a new class, Raspberry Pi Computer Projects with Alex. So I'm going to be posting all the things that you'll need for the project, then I'll go along with the project and just kind of follow along with me as I work on the project. And we can both kind of learn about it together. Also, next week, we have our Word, Excel, and PowerPoint coming up. And then on the 22nd, we're going to start our photography classes as well. And we actually have a new class, Advanced Photo Editing. And if you've had the editing class before with using GIMP, we're also going to include layers. And we pushed our uh, virtual scrapbooking to a new class, Photography Printing and Virtual Scrapbooking. So we'll kind of get those all together. So it's kind of like we have a new class because we've pushed more content into a previous class and added new content and pushed it to another class as well and then we'll finish up the month by our last part creating videos and editing basics okay also we're going to be doing cutting the cable 
again on the 30th in the morning and we're going to be doing a gadget help on the 23rd so very glad you're here with me this month so we actually have let's see Our libraries are open. I even saw that someone had asked a question that this morning. Our libraries are open with limited services and hours. Curbside holds pickup is available. Go to gchrl.org for more details. Of course, you can call into the library Monday through Friday, 10 a.m. to 5 p.m. Don't forget to like our Facebook pages and of course, like and subscribe to our videos on YouTube as well. Okay, so uh, or if you're searching for our YouTube channel, you're currently on our YouTube channel, or you can do search GCHRL uh, videos and it'll pop right up. Okay, so go ahead and post a question into the chat while I pull up our handout, and I'm also going to be posting our handout into the chat as well so just give me a moment to do that you know and say hello All right, so give me one second. I actually have to upload the file first. Mm -hmm. All right, so. Let's talk about the class that we're covering this afternoon. So we're going to cover some basics here. And we're going to get our handout. <laughs> there we go. Third time's the charm, of course. OK, it's still uploading the, the handout. So I'll go ahead and get started and then I'll get to post that later. Okay. So welcome, welcome. All right. So let's talk about what we're going to cover today. We're going to talk about what we want, when we want. Uh, what I want to watch and when I want to watch it okay and we're gonna talk about saving money of course and I'll also pull out some of our stuff here now one of our newer devices that we're going to talk about is actually our flex box this actually one of these actually comes free from Xfinity okay so we're gonna be talking about that I basically call that the peacock box so there it is right there okay we'll talk about that and you can actually get one of those boxes for free you can get one for free <laughs> and the rest they'll charge for and also we'll talk about antenna boosters as well I don't know why that's doing that so transparent like that there we go so it's trying to figure it out maybe it's too bright in here let's see Is that a little better nope still transparent We'll figure it out eventually here. <laughs> Not sure why that's too, why is that so transparent right now? I don't know. Okay. Let me see if I can do the, is it this? Nope, nope, nope. <laughs> we are all learning, aren't we? Okay, let's try that. 
Eh, I don't know why it's doing that like that. Okay, so let's go ahead and we'll go ahead and get started here. Less of me, more of our topic. How about that? We'll work on that in the future. <sighs> okay, so I'm going to talk about saving money, what I want to watch, when I want to watch it. Okay. We're first, we're going to start talking about our free digital antennas, TV. Okay. Uh, what We'll talk about what you will need. Okay. We'll talk about different types of antennas. We'll talk about free channels with our antennas and basically kind of what to expect in our area of uh, CSRA, Evans, Augusta, North Augusta, and kind of the surrounding area. We'll talk about is my TV digital ready, okay? And we'll talk about digital TV converters. Now I will let you know this was actually a class that uh, two years ago we actually started. And well, I, actually in 2014 we started the class. We only had four uh, come to the library and then we held off. And when we started it was a topic coming around again. And two years ago we actually did a class in January and basically we actually had uh, 50 people sign up to come and then we had an overflow of them so we actually had to have a second class in February and 25 people came to that class so the big question is so of course we've had this class more often because of the big demand of it so I kind of call that my 75 person class <laughs> which was kind of interesting so in-person classes of course we're doing all our, our classes right now virtually, staying home, staying safe. Hope you're staying home, staying safe as well. So there's our free stuff, free, 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 free. Now this other part here, we're gonna talk about internet streaming TV and what our options are. Well, now first we're gonna start off talking about what we will need. The big thing is we'll need the internet, what devices we'll need. We'll talk talking about free with ads, uh, programs, apps that we can watch. Then we'll talk about the, the top paid services, okay? And we'll include, of course, we're gonna include Disney Plus. We'll talk about that briefly. And we'll talk about the new Mulan movie a little bit and how that works as well. And we'll talk about Netflix, Hulu, and then we'll talk about something that is still a little bit new, live streaming TV. Now, all these on the right side here do require you to have high-speed internet, okay? So you are still paying for your internet, but a good bit of us have to have internet anyway for work and different reasons. So uh, well, let's talk and then I'll talk about some homework for you. What do you find out what you really watch? And then I have a little bit of an extra here just because it was a topic that a lot of cord covers, cutters uh, discuss, cutting the phone cord, okay? So any questions before we get started? Like I said, feel free to post any questions in the chat. Um, usually when I open for questions, I try to pause just a little bit because I do know there's a little bit of a delay. But this is a topic I enjoy. Um, basically, what is my, um, when I go about this, remember I actually work for the, the library. So I teach information. Why do we have some of our classes? Mainly because of the, the question of demand. And also this class came up because this was something uh, I was doing, my family was doing. And it was interesting, a lot of folks, and I talked to people at the library, and they go, well, you should teach a class on that. Or I want to know more information about that. So that's how this kind of class uh, became about. So I'm just showing, sharing information about what I've done personally, what I've heard other people do, and other options you have, okay? Okay, so, there we go. So let's talk about why cutting the the cable. Well, no. Why cut the cord? If I can talk, of course. <laughs> why cut the cord? Well, Consumer Reports actually says that the average pay TV bill is now about $106 and rising. Now, I personally, uh, before I cut the cable, as many years ago, I was paying about $150 a month for Direct TV, and I had family paying about $150 a month. Uh, to Comcast as well 
and mainly that was because we both had three DVR boxes and we were renting boxes and we were having to have all that extra stuff and pay for extra channels and it still kind of felt like we were sitting down and you know the classic song 57 channels and nothing on well I had a thousand channels and nothing on so and then I actually found out uh, when Net Netflix streaming came along that's mainly what I and my family started watching okay so a big one too is after buying an antenna that we're going to talk about uh, guess what the TV is free okay so don't pay for TV you can already get for free so what I mean by that is uh, you should be able to get the local channels ABC NBC CBS and Fox and be able to get uh, especially we have here in Augusta we have the Masters that happens and that actually is broadcast on uh, CBS I believe and the Super Bowl is usually broadcast on Fox so and I try to remember which one it is that actually has the Olympics so uh, we'd actually be watching the Olympics this year but of course now we're all at home staying safe so uh, the Olympics in the future we can actually watch that for free HD uh, quality so if someone says hey are you gonna watch the uh, Olympics Super Bowl the Masters golf tournament and I go yes I'm gonna watch all that stuff for free are you paying for it so that's kind of the big deal and I've even had it where I was in a uh, Walmart and there was a gentleman there this is after I cut the cable and he was trying to sell uh, like Dish Network or one of those and there were no nobody else around so I was just talking to him he said well, I got an offer for you I said I don't think you want to talk to me <laughs> he said no no I got an offer for you he said what you got what you got and I wasn't showboating or anything like that I just said well I've cut the cord I have Netflix I have Hulu and I have an antenna so I'm gonna be watching the Olympics for free Super Bowl for free the Masters for free and at the time I told him and it was a very cheap price and he said well I can't do any better than that I said okay you have a good day and he told me to have a good day so you can actually come down off your bill think about where you might spend that money someplace else some on-demand services of course are free or as low as six dollars okay uh, why have some of the other programs even if you do just have a basic cable or uh, direct TV or anything like that is because you can watch exclusive movie shows with some of these services as well okay so let's go ahead and let's start talking about our antennas so big question is who has an antenna already raise your hand I know that you're probably at home so don't really raise your hand but you know I, I can feel you answering me I can feel you raising my hand or the people that have previously been in my on-ground classes will talk to my talk in my head sometimes too so hopefully I'll be answering the questions that most of those folks have asked okay uh, so y'all have had an antenna in the past and the people says yay and I go okay well uh, what was antennas like in the past and they go oh no it was terrible and a lot of static 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 that's right only a few channels that's right <laughs> that's right Mac welcome welcome there you go static static only a few channels limit you know very limited uh, like in the late 90s if you were trying to watch X-Files or something a lot of static and anytime they went outside in the dark with their their flashlights you couldn't tell what was going on okay so basically that's kind of what folks still have in their mind so let's talk about what we're kind of moved into today well the old way is an analog signal okay and they've got done away with that so it's actually the same antennas you can use which is kind of interesting but now it's gone to digital okay what this means is that a channel can put out more than one one uh, channel at a time okay they can compress it so most of the time let's say an ABC not only can put out one channel but they can put out two three four channels on the same signal okay they're compressed and it did it, um, it's digital quality okay so let's talk about that 
So they've done away with that. Now the digital antenna means more channels, more quality, most are in HD now. It's actually not as compressed as it has to be using Comcast uh, TV or the uh, Direct TV, so forth. It's more of a pure signal that's coming from the antenna. A better signal than the old antenna, no static. Uh, the deal with that is, is either you get the channel or you don't. Okay, either the channel's on or it's not. Okay, so it's not really static. You either get the channel or you don't. And the best of all part is what? It's what? It's what? It's free. That's right. So the antenna is completely free after you just make a purchase of an antenna. So let's talk about uh, buying an antenna. Okay. Now I also will get folks that will come to class and they'll say, I have an antenna. And I go, okay, well now I ask a few questions and then they go, oh, well, I don't know the answer to those questions. And I go and I ask a few other questions that we're going to cover in just a second. And they go, oh, well, sounds like I need, I should have gotten a better antenna. And I go, probably. Okay. Also talking about where are you pointing your antenna? Uh, this is actually information we should have known about in the, in the late 90s, 80s, and stuff like that, too. So first, your TV has to be digital ready. Okay, and we'll talk about that in a second. This is actually a picture I took at the local Walmart in Evans. Used to, they only had one little section here. And I'll tell you about my story a little bit with the antenna. Uh, so basically had direct TV, had a family member contact me saying, hey, our bill's too high. And basically we're gonna cut that, you're gonna cut your thing. And basically you're gonna find us something better. And we feel like we're mostly watching uh, direct, uh, excuse me, mostly watching Netflix streaming at the time. Um, and yes, that seems like mostly that's what we were watching anyway, because you can sit down, press a button, and it starts playing. Okay? Don't have to schedule your time. So we have our antennas. This is the, I got a big antenna. Here's what I actually got. Uh, when the Direct TV, um, when the direct TV uh, satellite uh, got taken away, they left the cords. I was getting internet from a different source. I basically just plugged this antenna in, set it out there in the pole that they had for the direct TV, plugged it in and searched for channels and I got channels, okay? Now I had some other tweaking to have to do, which we're gonna talk about that, but basically it was pretty good to go out of the box. Uh, the, you need an indoor, outdoor antenna, how far are you from the signal, information you need to know, what's really the price of an antenna, $15, $100, I got one of these big ones at the time for $89, okay. All these will talk about different range, okay, how far are you away from the signal, indoor antenna, outdoor antenna, we'll talk about that in just a second, okay. Now, another good thing to have is a compass. Hmm, why did Alex mention the compass? Hmm, optional compass. Let's talk about that. Now, most of our cell phones, if it's a smartphone, have a compass built in, but there might be some apps that we can use to do that too, okay? All right, is my TV digital uh, signal ready? Now, we've had our big flat screen TVs for a while now, okay? But do realize there's some folks that may have, let's say in a guest room or something like that, maybe they still have a big tube TV and they go, well, this still works. I don't think I need to rush out and get a new thing. Or I have one HD TV for the living room and then in the bedrooms or whatever, I have an older TV. So to begin with, you know, if I wanna switch over to the antenna, what do I need to do to fix those or have that ready, okay? Well, the big one is most of our HDTVs do have the new signal in the coax cable or the cable cable that you screw in there, and it already has the receiver in it. The older TVs need a converter box, okay? So the one on the left here, uh, it's kind of interesting, it's outside on the curb is the picture. Uh, you'll need an actual converter box for that because it's still set for the analog, not the new digital signal. 
and some of the converter boxes forty dollars fifty dollars and some of them even have like a little place you can plug in a USB and record from stuff from the antenna as well so very convenient not that high price maybe even give you extra functionality um, than maybe even the big TV so if you do have a family member that that wants something like this maybe they don't want to go out and buy a big TV yet um, get a converter box like this and then they'll be good to go okay and the big remember the big focus that we're trying to focus in on is trying to save money in general so if you were able to actually shave off you know fifty dollars sixty seventy dollars a month and still get to watch what you want to watch when you want to watch it in the long run you'll be better off okay so let's talk about where is our antenna okay where is our signal coming from well a great website to go to is in antennapoint.com you can put in your zip code you can even put in your street address if you want to or your street name if you want to be more anonymous that's fine basically here in the CSRA Augusta North Augusta Martinez um, you know Evans area Lincolnton area basically to our antenna our signal is actually coming from North Augusta okay and if you have tried to get some of these TV signals do you realize to make sure that you do rescan um, about every two three months or so because the the they actually I won't go into it but there's actually been a repack that's been happening in our area I give you a website if you want to go into more detail about that but they've actually been moving around the signals a little bit changing stuff so it may be it should make it better in the long run but it's been a little bit hard to get some of these channels okay the PBS channel used to the Fox channel I was actually the hard one to get but now more or less it's the PBS channel which is kind of sad but uh, go to this website it'll actually tell you what the distance is of where you are and it'll actually show you what channels you should be able to be able to get okay and the the actual heading okay so this is where you'd actually pull out your um, cell phone you could do a compass point pointed in that direction your antenna and you should be starting to get a better signal now if you do have an indoor antenna and let's say the whole house is in the way between you and the antenna you may want to move the antenna uh, to an area maybe to a window uh, that's closer to the signal okay does that make sense try to get your antenna to face the way the signals coming so let's talk about what antenna do I need okay well let's say that you live in Augusta let's say you live in North Augusta well you may not actually need an antenna that's that far because like I said the signals actually coming from high atop Thunder Hill in North Augusta okay it's one of the, uh, the highest areas in our highest land mass is in our area if I'm saying that right um, so it's up there some of the other signals used to be in other places and now they've moved it over there like Fox and that's great so now we get the Fox broadcast uh, so range is about uh, 25 miles for indoor outdoor range is about 60 or so uh, I've actually seen some antennas that will say 80 100 miles do you realize there is a curvature of the earth <laughs> so uh, that's not really accurate <laughs> but let's talk about our indoor antenna something you kind of have mind you of the old bunny ears something you have inside something you might put be able to have something flat if you had a TV and you had a big flat um, one like this and the signal was coming from behind the TV yeah sure use this I don't know if I would use this flat one behind the TV model unless um, the signal was coming from behind the TV because the TV could block uh, the signal in some way and remember we're also talking about you don't want it that the intent the refrigerator our microwave is in between you and the signal in any way so what about outdoor well does that look familiar that's right that actual signal the antenna is not what changed the signal is actually what changed so does it look like an old antenna yes it does is it basically an old antenna yes it is okay 
It's our signal that changed. This is actually an antenna um, that they sell at Best Buy. This is their name brand, uh, Rocketfish. So do you think that Best Buy, even though they sell all kinds of uh, packages and everything, do you think they think that more and more people are going to be buying antennas? Yes, they do, or they wouldn't be selling their own name brand. Walmart sells their own name brand, the OWN, um, as well. So, what is the best antenna? That's usually what I get asked. The best antenna is the one that's away from trees, uh, covering over the signal, blocking the signal. What's the, what's the best antenna? Get it up high outside to receive the signal have it pointed towards north augusta and hopefully that it's not raining or lightning <laughs> and uh, then you'll get your best quality signal if you live in an area that has a lot of trees uh, it will decrease your signal beautiful wonderful shade but if you can wherever you're going to have your intent if you can cut back some of the brush some of the bush um, then uh, that'll help out too as well okay and kind of like a satellite dish, if it's raining or whatever, then our signal's decreased. Let's talk about what channels we should expect, okay? So, some of us are getting more than 18, even 20, okay? In a recent search, I actually pulled up 20 channels. So let's talk about what our 20 channels are. Available here in our CSRA. Now, I actually pulled this up. I went to uh, Classic. I just went to tvguide.com, told it that I had an antenna, the AOTC, uh, and it actually in zip code, and it pulled this up, and we'll talk about it. So basically, with the uh, ABC signal, WJBF, uh, channel 6, we get one, the, the main channel here. This is one of the easier channels to get. And then we actually get, it. they actually have three channels that you'll get at the same time. Uh, love it, love it. Uh, 6.2 is actually MeTV, okay? I don't know why that says RTV. It's actually MeTV. It's a fantastic channel. Old TV shows. And on Saturday, they do their Sci-Fi Saturday with Sven Gulli Movie Theater. It's a guy that comes out of a coffin shows old horror movies most of them in black and white and stuff it's a lot of fun the jokes are really corny and then they do like star trek and all kinds of other classics tv uh, sci-fi shows and stuff and then it rotates there whatever whatever shows they have it'll be it's on a rotation too so every few months the the shows will change but not Sven Gulli, of course uh, this is kind of like a murder mystery show uh, channel Murder Mystery Show, True Crime Channel situation. Uh, this, of course, is Channel 12, okay? This is our CBS. Yay, Channel 12, our CBS. And it pulls up, of course, with its programming. They have a new channel uh, called, like, True Country or something. No, no, that's this one down here. Uh, the Circle is what this new one is here. But they've got uh, kind, of, kind of old channels, old shows coming up here. On the my TV interesting rerun stuff going on here they'll do Dateline stuff some of these channels will view the second channel as their secondary like they'll do news on these channels at a different time they'll do weather at different times sports sometimes will show up here on 6.2 at a different time local sports uh, the circle uh, does Grand Old Opry stuff it plays hee haw <laughs> and they have another channel here another murder mystery uh, sh show channel Now, the PBSs, if you do get the PBSs, great, good for you. Guess what? You're going to get four of them. You get the main PBS with shows like Father Brown, you know, the classic stuff they show on there, and uh, reruns of the Masterpiece Theater. That's the name of that show. Masterpiece Theater, Dalton Abbey, you know, all that kind of good British stuff's on there. Of course, PBS programming as well. Uh, the second one is mostly kind of a cooking show. Whoop, I did not mean to do that yet. Thank you. Uh, this one is mostly like a cooking show. So Martha Stewart will actually show up on this. All kinds of stuff uh, going on here. This one is more of a travel show uh, channel. So it's lots of travel stuff. 
and then they'll show like local um, for like Savannah and Georgia because this is our Georgia PBS so they have Georgia local programming and then this channel is actually a 24 hours uh, seven days a week kid channel so they show all kinds of kid shows cat in the hat uh, you name it uh, you know Daniel Lyon all that kind of stuff 24 hours though kids channel and then we're back to our NBC so our NBC is right there it's affiliate uh, 26.2 uh, 26.3 going on there classic TV I forget what that channel is actually called but lots of classic TV now here's our Christian channels that come out of I'll mainly say that because it's uh, this one here 49 but lately I've actually seen them pop up sometimes and they are doing like a QVC or it's just like music with uh, you know it's just like light some soft calm music uh, in the background so I'm not really sure what that programming is and then sometimes this is like a business channel and then it's a great I don't I'm not understand sure but here we are here's our, our Fox 54 uh, WJB no W mm, I don't know it's le call letters by heart but this is our local Fox affiliate you know showing uh, Super Bowl sports stuff on there baseballs on there uh, this one is just a secondary channel, but these two channels are awesome. They are basically a uh, what was it? Okay, this is like the Bounce channel, I believe, and this is Grit TV right here. They mostly show movies. Okay, this is mostly a, um, a, a Western channel, like it says, Good, Bad, and the Ugly. But these two will show some great movies on there, just kind of action movies and stuff. And this one actually here is Court TV. So believe it or not, we do actually get can get Court TV for free, and Court TV is actually free with Pluto as well. So I'll point that out in just a minute too. So these are kind of the channels that you should expect if you can get your antenna kind of up about and uh, point in the right direction for our area. I will kind of say sometimes having an antenna feels like it's a hobby. Okay, it does happen. Um, where certain times you're like, well, I'm not getting that channel. Oh, well, it's raining out there or there's a storm front in uh, South Carolina or something, so the signal's not that great. It does happen. All that stuff is affected by weather, even Comcast, too. Okay, so we talked about our antennas. So any, any questions about uh, antennas, uh, I will throw out there, too. And we'll see if my... It's still ghosting me. I, it does not like my yellow shirt for some reason. <laughs> Hang on a second. Let me play this, play around with this just a second. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> uh, okay, let's try that. At least you can. Oh, I don't know what's going on. Anyway, I was just trying to show you this, and then when I pull out my other stuff, I want it to look right. It's been working great, and why it's messing up right now, I don't know. It's like I put it over here. Eh, interesting. So I just hold it in front of my face. How about that? Okay, so as <laughs> I hold it in front of my face, this is one of the, the boosters that I recently got for my antenna. It's actually got it from Walmart. It's very cheap. I think it was like $13 or something like that. It has actually helped with the, the channel boosting a little bit. A very inexpensive, just an antenna booster. So if you are having some issues with your antenna, that's actually a good uh, recommendation uh, for that right there. So some of the other...
some of the other bits that we have going on as well. Here's even a cheap, what they call free TV antenna, and it actually plugs on the back of the TV. Uh, this, the issue with this is that it probably was, it's not very far TV unless you lived in Augusta or even North Augusta. You might be able to pick up some stuff this way. But again, the best thing option is to basically kind of have antenna outside uh, pointing to North Augusta, and that really is the best thing to do. So let's go ahead and let's talk, start talking about our streaming services, okay? All right, so our streaming services. Now, what you do need with this is you, of course, will do, you will do, you will need, <laughs> you will need high-speed uh, internet connection with these. And the next question I usually get asked is, well, I need some kind of device for each of my TVs. Yes, you will, okay? So, uh, yes, you will. You can't, it's not really worth splitting them off or anything like that, but each TV will have something. We're going to talk about free first. Free, free, free. Who likes free? I like free. Um, you're, and you're already, if you're using, have Comcast, DirecTV, Dish Network, you know, of course, you're already paying for commercials anyway. Uh, and then you, you were watching, you're paying for shows and stuff that have commercials. And maybe we can watch some of that stuff on free or just some type of uh, different kind of program. A paid monthly subscription for premium services like Netflix. So we're going to talk about that too. So what kind of devices do we need? Okay. Well, here's a good one right here. We actually have our standalone devices. Uh, we have our Roku's, Amazon Fire devices. Apple TV, Chromecast, and the new Comcast Xfinity Flex, which I call that the Peacock Box, which we'll talk about that in a second. Now, one of the things you'll notice here is here's our Roku, here's our Amazon, here's Apple TV, here's the Comcast Xfinity Flex, and then the, here's our Chromecast as well. Just realize the Chromecast is the one that does not have a remote with it. Uh, so that may work for a lot of folks. One good thing about that is that if anybody actually has the app, even with the premium service on their device, they can cast or send the video to the, the device to play it. Uh, but yeah, there are some other ways that you can do that as well with the Roku, but you, it doesn't have a remote. So pausing the pausing it, you have to load up your app to be able to pause your TV or something. So a lot of people, that's a big drawback from getting a Google Chromecast. So do realize that. So which one would I recommend? I would actually recommend the Roku. I have a few of them. Uh, either bought or, or recommended to family members uh, to get one. The Roku really like that one. It's kind of the best. A lot of folks they really like the Amazon Fire. I like the Roku because it plays most of the stuff. Okay, most of it. Most of the apps are on there. They call them channels, but it's a little bit easier to call them apps because it makes a little bit more sense. Okay, so if I say the Disney Plus app. But if you say, oh, does it, it has the Disney Plus channel and then some of the like Chromecast calling them apps. So it gets confusing. So just realize that if Chrome, Roku or some other ones say channel, they actually really kind of refer to apps. OK, now what else can you do? Well, if you have like a Sony Blu-ray DVD player, a TV, it may actually say that it does play Netflix okay, or Hulu on there. You may have what's known as a smart TV, okay? Um, and uh, as one folk person said in the class, okay, so it's like there's a Roku already inside of that TV and that's why it's smart. Yes. So some of these will have their own, uh, the own comp their own company like Samsung will have their own built-in stuff. Worst case scenario, 
your smart device either outlives or outgrows um, your needs outgrow what the, this TV is you could always just get a device here or whatever the newer one of these are and be able to get it to do it okay to do the app so the smart TV may not support all the apps and it may not support all the apps I'm talking about today but currently the Roku uh, the Chromecast the Amazon Fire supports most of them but guess which one supports Peacock service only the Comcast one hmm interesting interesting why is that oh that's right uh, Comcast owns uh, the Peacock or CBS okay any questions about devices here so I like I used to actually talk about devices later and then I get a lot of questions about the devices so we start off with the de little devices first and like I said you do need streaming you do need um, uh, wire your high-speed internet to be able to use these devices too uh, I will get some folks say can I connect to my cell phone if I have like a uh, a uh, you know T-Mobile you know one of those Verizon high-speed internet yeah it's possible that you can do that uh, just you just have to talk to them about that whatever your plan is now you may already have something in your house if you have a gamer in your house that you could actually do some of these streaming services with okay PlayStation Xbox Nintendo Switch. Most of these will play Netflix, Hulu, and our YouTube channel that we're about to talk about. Okay. You want a remote? Well, you can actually purchase a separate remote for these. I will tell you, sometimes these remotes can be, you know, twenty dollars or even higher. And do realize that one of the cheaper uh, solutions is a Roku and that that the lowest Roku can be $35 okay oh a little side note here uh, they do make a Roku that has a volume controller on the the right that's usually the about 40 about $50 one in there they usually have three tiers of Roku um, but the volume controller allows you to turn the TV on and off it's fantastic it's great it's well worth it then you only have to worry about one remote okay so let's start talking about our free services and then also we'll talk about our um, the different devices and which ones they do because of this new Xfinity device this flex uh, thing uh, in side note like I said this is the one that you can actually get for free uh, from uh, Xfinity Comcast and one of the reasons why you would care it does do Netflix it does do a lot of the things I talk about it will do Pluto TV believe it or not it's kind of interesting that they would allow it to do that um, and it will do Peacock where Roku currently in the Amazon Fire will not do the Peacock service okay which is new so let's talk about our free services well a big one is YouTube okay fantastic service everybody's at least seen a YouTube video what in the last hour <laughs> day you know week uh, so YouTube is a fantastic resource uh, you know it's more than just what's the latest uh, um, you know music video what's the latest YouTuber talking about and one of the things you can do too is if you do set up a free account which is what I recommend and of course uh, just like I talked about earlier you actually have to be logged into YouTube to be able to comment so even this live video here you have to be logged into YouTube uh, to comment and to like okay so do realize that all the content on there content ranges from music news blogs funny videos I know it has kind of America's funniest home videos kind of stuff on there uh, but do realize that companies have what they call channels on YouTube as well just kind of means that that's where they post uh, their content okay so what companies have that news channels uh, like the CBS News uh, will post stuff on there ABC News CBS most of the 24-hour news channels will have a channel on YouTube and they post content on there too so uh, could YouTube possibly be enough 
Yes, it could actually. Any what want to know what the local news is or whatever? And YouTube, there's certain public things that YouTube will put out live at the same time. Uh, so you have to kind of look into that, which ones they will do. Kind of normal stuff that uh, C, um, uh, C-SPAN and stuff like that. You might be able to see that on YouTube. So uh, like uh, uh, political debates or something like that. Uh, not really sports stuff, but there's also other apps too we're going to talk about. So YouTube is a huge resource. Can't I can't tell you less about that. You'll find folks on there that they are just like you and me, and they just have top talk about topics that you and I like. Uh, maybe it's our hobby. Maybe it's some kind of special thing that we're into, and uh, you'll. It's really interesting in our YouTube class. Plug plug. We'll talk about how you can become one of those individuals and maybe even earn money uh, doing it too. Talking about your passion. So what other free uh, apps are out? What other free programs are out there? There's the PBS Kids app. There is a PBS app. Um, some of the stuff is limited on the, the free version of that. And you do have to tell it what your email address is to kind of prove that you live in, let's say, Georgia. Okay. There's also another one. You want a free 24-hour news channel. Well, what about CBS News Live 24-7? They're covering all the same topics and stuff that the other news channels are about, you know, weather, bad things happening, I guess you'd say me, like hurricanes, stuff like that. Um, I don't go into that. You know, some kind of tragedy has happened. They'll discuss that as well. So you can get the same news from that one too. Um, that's a live 24-hour news channel for free. Uh, what about the CW content? Well, you can get the CW stuff from the antenna. I, I skipped over pointing that which one out was the C, CW one. Um, that's one of the ones that goes along with uh, uh, the NBC uh, stations, I believe, 26. So it's like 20.3 or something like that, I believe. I'm not sure. Anyway, shows like uh, Riverdale and the rest of them you can watch free on the CW app. Uh, a lot of the hero superhero shows are on there as well. Uh, but what about other apps too? Did you know that Sony has a free movie TV service? Well, it's called Crackle, okay? This is their free TV movie service. You can pull this up, install this app, watch free TV shows, watch free movies on here. Tubi is a, is a new favorite of mine. They're starting to have kind of a back catalog of a lot, a lot of the um, early 90s, you know, action, silly stuff that would come on. You know, T, uh, TNT, uh, TBS a long time ago. You know, su Saturday morning kind of just uh, movies and stuff. Uh, so Tubi, free movie, uh, free stuff on there. So definitely check out Tubi. Uh, Peacock. In the second, we'll talk about Pluto. Peacock is our newest service. This is by NBC. So Peacock, what is it? Well, it has a free version. Where you can set up a username and password, watch free stuff like on your cell phone or something. But if you want to watch it on TV, the app is currently not available uh, through uh, the Roku or through the Amazon Fire. So what what program is it through well you can do it off your TV and plug it into your computer excuse me you can do it off your computer and plug it into your TV that way or you can really like I said and there's the transparency thing going on again it's so weird I don't know why that's happened anyway I'll stop talking about why that's happening How about that Let's see, if I set that back there. Is that a little better? I don't know. Okay, so. <laughs> kind of interesting. All right, so this is the, uh, the box that you can get from uh, Comcast, okay, or Xfinity, whatever they want to call themselves now. Uh, so Xfinity on here, 
and basically this is what I call the peacock box you can get one for free okay if you want more than one then they do charge for it the good part about this the box is is that peacock actually has a three tier plan they have a free plan with uh, most of the content and they have one that's five dollars a month and one that's ten dollars a month with no commercials on the ten dollar one okay this is actually if you get this box and if you have Comcast internet okay uh, you can actually get the second tier meaning all the content on a peacock uh, for free and you get one box for free if you want more than one box and they charge to, for the renting of the other boxes so this is kind of like the promotion so that's why I call this the peacock box because you can get all of uh, peacocks content for free on here what else does this box do well like I said the box will do Netflix the box will do um, uh, some of the other streaming services it even has Pluto built-in on it it has to be built-in and some of the other ones too uh, that don't there's too many that I'm going to cover them all so this is kind of Comcast uh, answer to the the cord cutter so they're kind of doing one of those things where they're saying you know if you can't beat them uh, join them situation so have a remote here this will be your main remote I like their remote it's a little bit hard to press the buttons though I will tell you that one thing I don't like about it the Roku remote is very easy to press but of course you know that's not controlling the um, TV as well you can need not this remote but the other ones uh, you can press the TV on and off, turn the volume up and down. Of course, you could do that with this too. One thing I have going on is that if I do mess with this remote, I still have to hit input to get it to switch to the to the uh, the flex box. But of course, on the Roku, I hit home and it instantly switches to whatever input the Roku's on. So this makes it easier for family members to just pick up. Say, okay, I want to watch something on Roku. I have buttons here that say Netflix, uh, Sling TV, Hulu, or whatever. Press that, it comes right up, or they hit the home button and it'll even turn on the TV for them and switch to the Roku. They don't have to know what an input is. So, with this, you're kind of going back to that, um, which is a little bit of a shame, but then you, but it is something. So, if you are, if you already have um, Xfinity Internet, go ahead and order it. The first one is free. It may be all you need and then get you some other cheap Roku boxes and just watch Peacock uh, on there. So the commercials right now are coming out saying free uh, Peacock TV with Xfinity Flex. Wish they called the box something else. Flex is not the best name for it, I personally believe. But I just call it the Peacock box. Okay. So like I said, that's a new thing that's come along. So... I'm talking about it a lot of exciting things going on there a um, lot of a lot of movies that and TV shows that aren't really available in any place else and some things that are leaving uh, Netflix are now going to some of these other streaming services now Roku if you do have a Roku Roku has their own movie channel for free stuff remember I'm focusing on free right now for free stuff and uh, that's awesome and they're actually starting to include some of the stuff from Pluto so let's talk about Pluto a little bit so a while back I would say there's this great service called Pluto and you should really try it and then people at class would go huh and I go well it's like its own cable um, cable uh, uh, service almost and they go, okay and I go okay well why don't I show you a little bit kind of how Pluto works so Pluto is an app or channel they call it on Roku you flip to the certain channels they have lots of topics on these channels you can do you can go to Pluto dot um, Pluto dot TV I believe is the address and just watch live I won't do that because the copyright you know issues and all that right now but they've actually added some new channels okay one is a 24 hours a day Star Trek channel and they go through many different they even include some of the uh, original movies um, on there as well and Next Generation and some of the other shows like Voyager even a CSI uh, channel where they're showing Miami uh, New York and the original CSI as well so those are two new very noteworthy channels that are on there 
So here's a little bit of a, a listing here. It's actually been outdated a little bit because they changed some stuff, but I couldn't find a big nice listing like this unless you go there and it's just a big list. They do list stuff as numbers, but that's not really how you get around. You kind of get around now more with the categories. Lots of movie channels. Okay. Now remember, this is all free. It all has commercials. This is Pluto is really the thing that I tell people about. And it seems like it's where I get the biggest um, uh, positive feedback later. Like I'll say, well, have you tried Pluto? And they go, no. And they're like, you already have Netflix? And you said, yep. But sometimes I can't figure out what to watch and I don't have um, cable anymore. So mainly it's, it's really great because they're focusing on basing the stuff on topic. Okay. Also with cord cutting, we don't get the weather channel anymore. Um, and I'll talk to you about a service in a minute that you can get the weather channel for kind of a low price, but mostly our weather channel now is weather nation. Okay. So that's this channel and it's included on Pluto. You don't have to download a separate app. Horror movie channel, thriller movie channel, documentary movie channel, action, fun movies, 80s rewind, cult films. They've added a few more channels. Here's the CMT Westerns, Paramount movie channel. These all have commercials. Um, Pluto has gotten a lot of content now from Viacom. So there's MTV, VH1, Comedy Central content. Are these live uh uh, channels over here not really they're more like there's clips of like like the CNN channel uh, Bloomberg TV might be live but we do have the uh, shoot there's the NBC news channel here so there are some kind of live news but the weather channel is 100% live uh, there you go bench channels and recently we've added some other stuff forensic files dog the bounty hunter Hell's Chick Kitchen, Wahlberg's Antique Roadshow channel, one of my personal favorites, the Doctor Who Classic Doctor Who channel, Midsummer Murders, Mystery Science Theater 3000 movie channel, Rift Tracks movie channel, where these make, make fun of the movies and jokes, comedy channels, cat TV, dog TV. They have some sports on here. Mostly it's replayed stuff. PGA is a channel, but they're playing old... Um, Golf tournaments, Explore is a really neat travel channel on here, Adventure Channel, a Science Channel. Slow TV is kind of fun. They show uh, cross-country dri train drives, which is kind of interesting. There's Food Network, looking for a food channel, Front Door, kind of fix it show. They have a This Old House channel now, like the Front Door. The House Flipper ch shows are all on there. Um, lots of interesting stuff. Yeah, like I said, this list has gotten bigger than this now, but you just have to go there and check it out. Tech stuff, they include the NASA channel, Science channel, uh, CNET news channel, all kinds of stuff. Now let's talk about kids stuff. Door TV, 24 hour door channel, Nickelodeon kids channel. They even have a Nickelodeon movies channel. So what is that? Shows movies that they would do this special, this you know month we have a Nickelodeon movie. Well, those are actually, there's actually Nickelodeon movie channel that you can turn to and it's all their, their movies and stuff on Nickelodeon. There's a Nick Jr. channel, 24 hours a day, Teenage Ninja Turtles, the old show and the new show, uh, Sunday afternoon cartoons, shows all kinds of stuff. They have Spanish channels. They used to have a whole bunch of music channels, but they've kind of cut these back now, but they are have some music video channels in there. So lots and lots of resources, not resources, but lots and lots of uh, channels. Like I said, they've actually added the Rifleman. There's a um, Adam's Family channel. Uh, there's more kids channels they've recently added. And I'm trying to remember what was... Uh... Anyway, the really neat part, it's all based on... There's a British... TV channel which is pretty neat but they all are based on subject so unlike kind of our normal channel we kind of flip around and say oh what's on they're like well I want to watch something the best part you can click a button and it's playing already and there you go you'll discover some really neat movies in there just by there's uh, like a suspense movie channel they've recently added that's pretty neat they have a thrillers movie channel okay so 
we've talked about free up if you bought an antenna free and if you bought a uh, like a Roku streaming box for free okay now we're going to talk about our streaming services okay so these are on-demand services that we have that are available so of course our biggest one is our Netflix okay Netflix 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 now I will tell you this this is just in general for TV shows and movies and everything because of um, you know the 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 COVID stuff going around a lot of our TV shows a lot of our movie productions was put on hold and a lot of them are still on hold okay some of them are trying to work it out so that they're very small productions or just be prepared for that when we start our shows back um, or a lot of movies are being held and they're pushing them to next year or something like that now do you realize the next few months it may start to feel like or even going into next year as well three months into next year it may seem like a lot of these 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 streaming services may not have anything new okay so realize that that it will be an issue and it will be a universal issue uh, with all of them just because a production has stopped on a lot of this stuff so almost get prepared to um, say hey there was a show that I heard about a year or two ago heard it was great I think I'm gonna go back and watch that show I've never seen it okay and let that be your new content where some of these services it may just flat out seem like they may not have a ton of stuff that's new I'm talking about all of them so no movies at the movie theater meant, meant that six months to a year no new movies on Netflix no new movies on Hulu okay so our top services of course are Netflix Hulu and now we have Disney coming in guess what Disney mostly owns more than 60 percent Disney mostly owns Hulu okay what does Disney own well Disney owns Pixar Disney stuff Marvel Star Wars and National Geographic okay also what other services are I will tell you this if you have Amazon Prime and you're using it for your streaming service not your if you're using Amazon Prime for the two-day shipping and you're not pulling up Amazon Prime video and seeing what's on there you are missing out it's just like any any of these other services it's like a rotating wheel of what they have new stuff comes in old stuff goes out new stuff comes in old stuff goes out so if you haven't been to Amazon Prime in a while go there there's new stuff being added constantly um, and the big one is I'll get people in class that said you have Amazon Prime they raise their hand said two-day shipping is great and then they go are you watching Amazon Prime video and they're like no and I'm like well you do realize it would be $13 a month if you did not have Amazon Prime okay so it's included and it's a great deal so let's talk about um, Pico uh, talk about another one here and tomorrow I'm actually going to be doing a library resources and apps class and you can actually watch acorn TV for free through our library okay if not it's six bucks a month the way our subscription works with our library is it's weekly so you come in you check it out go come to the libraries and resources apps class which I'll actually be doing tomorrow I'll cover how to do that you check it you check out the subscription for a week when that expires you go back and you can check out the subscription for another week and you can keep doing that the only thing that we ask is if you do check it out please watch it because it does uh, cost the library money when you do check them out so watch them if you check it out if you check out a book we want you to read it if you check out um, a movie we want you to watch it and if you check out a subscription we want to make sure you use it okay so have fun using it it's not a one-time thing you can do it as many times as you want okay it's one of those services we provide acorn TV is great and we'll talk more about that in our library resources class the peacock like I said the all-inclusive if you get if is five dollars a month which is all everything on there the free one that I just talked about has most of the stuff on there with commercials the all-inclusive is five with commercials no ads ten bucks 
It does not work on Roku or Fire. If you get one of those Peacock boxes, you can watch it for free um, with your Comcast service, okay? So they're trying to push it as your Comcast internet. All you have to have is internet, and you can get one box for free. If you want more than one, they charge to rent, okay? Which might be best to, um, to get one of the Rokus or something like that separate, okay? Now, do realize any of these paid services I'm talking about, you can cancel at any time because it's monthly, okay? So let's talk about Netflix a little bit. Thousands of TV shows, uh, seasons by season, movies, you know, from ever-changing library, lots of their own original content. The best part is no commercials. No commercials, yay. No commercials. Favorite TV show, no commercials. There you go. Lots of content still from Disney and Nickelodeon. Lots of original content. Right now, it's $12.99 for two screens. What does two screens mean? That means that you and someone else and your family can watch it. One of the things that they'll talk about Netflix, that most lenient about could you have a family member go off to college or someplace and still use your same um, subscription? Absolutely, that's fine. The CEO said, um, they said, what do you think about family members that have people go off to college? Shouldn't they have their own? Because no, it's fine. They pay for two screens, meaning watching on two devices. They should be able to watch and use the two screens. Okay. Here's a little bit of a sample um, of some of the stuff on there. Disney stuff, like I said, is ever changing. They add new stuff. Uh, some TV shows will get canceled too. Um, but most of the time, it's a whole season of stuff, Stranger Things, a new version of Lost in Space, and it's really good. Um, all kinds of great stuff on there. So let's talk about Hulu. So Hulu's big focus is recent TV shows from ABC, CBS, NBC, and Fox. Now, I told you that Disney now owns 60% of Hulu, what else does Disney own? Disney owns ABC. ABC. No, that doesn't work. Uh, it's NBC. <laughs> so we have ABC, CBS, NBC, and Fox, don't we? The one their big focus is, is recent TV episodes. So if they cover or carry that show, then it's kind of, if the Hulu cut carries that show, then it's like a, the new, new episode you can watch the next day. Okay. So a big one um, is, let's say, Dancing with the Stars. I have a family member that loves that. If you miss the episode, with the, within the next day, it'll become available, okay? Hulu has two different plans now. Hulu has $6 plan with limited commercials, but there are commercials. Some of the commercials can be up to three minutes long. For $12, you get limited no commercials on most shows. And do realize if you do have someone in college and they've gotten Spotify, they can actually get the limited commercials uh, Hulu for free, okay? So do realize that. Here's some of our Hulu samples on here. Some fun shows from the 80s, like the Wonder Years, uh, Designing Women's on there and stuff. Absolutely hilarious still. Big Bang, new shows, Little Fires Everywhere. Uh, you know, and it just keeps changing, growing. A lot of HGTV stuff. So if you have someone that's a big HGTV fan, a lot of stuff on there. House flipping shows, all kinds of stuff. Okay, now let's talk about our live streaming TV is what I've kind of named it, okay? Live streaming TV. So we had our Disney Plus where we could pull something up and watch it live streaming TV. Um, this one I wasn't really sure where to put because Disney Plus is not live. Um, Hulu is not live, but ESPN Plus is live. So they actually have a package that's come out for $12.99. So I wasn't really sure where to put this. So Disney Plus is our new big streaming uh, dog that's come out. So what about live streaming TV? So you're look, really looking into something that I really want something to replace. Comcast replace DirecTV. That's what I'm interested in. 
So Sling TV is actually the cheapest. The cheapest, and the reason it's the cheapest is because they actually have two tiers. Uh, I believe most folks would be okay with the $30 plan, okay? Now, the problem is I previously had Sling TV and there were some extra channels like the Golf Channel and some other, some other like uh, TMC or something like that that I wanted and that, that kind of, it, it was like nickel and diamond me, nickel and diamond me and that's when they came out with Hulu Live TV and the Hulu Live TV actually includes ABC, CBS, NBC, and Fox local channels. Um, now recently they went up on their price a little bit. They said because they felt like they were adding more content. I have heard that YouTube TV has recently upped their price, but they have not added new content. So it's not a big recommended for YouTube TV. Does Direct TV have a, a live streaming service? Yes, it does. It's called Direct TV Now. Sony does. It's called PlayStation View. And Google technically does with the Google YouTube TV, but it's really strange because I've recently heard that Google uh, is actually pushing when a, a fiber customer, that's their internet service. We don't live, we don't have that near us uh, here in uh, Augusta CSRA. But in the places that do have that, they're actually pushing the Philo service. So that's a newer service that's out there too. So I'm really glad instead of having maybe one or two, you know, Knowledge or DirecTV or maybe even AT&T. And AT&T has had some conflict with some of the channels and canceled some of them. So with our with the, the ability to use the internet to do TV, not only does it allow us to watch us on separate devices, portable devices, but also it gives us a lot more channels and a lot more opportunities um, for having more options. So the Google Fiber people are actually pushing Philo TV, and I read that today. So here's kind of our Sling TV services. How do you know which one has what? Hold on. How do you know which ones have what? You just have to go to their website and look and see, okay? Because the channels can change. So if you are actually reading an article about one of these and it's a year, two years old, the channels may have changed. It's very, po it's very possible, okay? And again, before we talk about this, there's some folks happy with an antenna, happy with something like the Pluto TV, and happy with um, you know, the other uh, services just have an internet maybe even the free peacock box and then there's basically they just pay for their internet okay so do you realize that you don't have to have this some some folks may be very happy with those but if you want some things well like live um, uh, news networks let's talk about that so boing 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 this is the big one I get asked a lot I want to read, I still want to see my favorite live news channels. CNN, Fox News, MSNBC, Sling TV is its big thing is that it's the cheapest. You can get all three of these channels for $30 and the other channels included too, like HGTV and the rest of them. So my answer to that question is for $30 you can get Sling TV and you can still get live um, stuff like that have an antenna you can get live uh, local channels okay so if you're spending more than that 109 a month and you're trying to get it cheaper and you still got to pay for internet anyway there you go right there so a lot more options than what we had now in the future future in the future future because Disney actually owns Hulu And Hulu does the Hulu Live, I foresee, because our Disney stuff, our Peacock is still so new. I see in the future, mm, I'm gonna use my psychic powers to detect the future. I feel like in the future, Disney would actually offer basically, uh, imagine Disney saying, Disney uh, TV. Oh, Disney TV. So what exactly could Disney TV be? Well, Disney TV could basically be a package that includes the Disney Plus, includes the normal programming for Hulu, includes ESPN programming, 
and includes the Hulu Live uh, TV channels and that would include local as well. So really for a lot of families, unless you wanted specific programs like uh, the HBO Max or if you wanted you know, Netflix or some of the other programs, um, this, whatever it would be in the future, this or this, uh, together a lot of folks and families, they're, almost, they're basically done. And then all of a sudden Disney isn't just a, you know, putting things on HBO Max, putting things on Netflix. Um, now they basically are a cable service. So it's kind of a new thing for them. And like I said, I feel like that's will be the next thing that they'll be pushing. And there you go. There you go right there. Then someone says, what about, yes, in class, someone raises their hand and go, but I want to see the Hallmark Channel. And I know that you said the, the uh, Weather Nation Channel I could get for free with the app, the free downloadable app, or a Weather Nation Channel, I can get that channel uh, free through the Pluto TV, so I can, well, but I want the real Weather Channel. And I go, okay. And then they go, well, I want the Hallmark Channel too. Nothing that you said has the Hallmark channel on it. I said, that's right. Hallmark has their own service. And guess who owns the Weather Channel? Hallmark does. <laughs> and apparently the Game Show Network and QVC is all mixed in there. So for $6 a month, okay, you can get the Hallmark Channel, Hallmark Movie Mysteries Channel, Hallmark Drama Channel, the Weather Channel, Outdoor Channel, some other stuff, the Game Show Network and QVC. It's not a bunch of channels, okay, uh, for $6, okay? I haven't used this service. I've had folks that really, really love the Hallmark Channel, and then recently they said they canceled this, but who knows, they're really big into um, loving the, the Christmas movies and Christmas stuff that comes out. They may get it again during Christmas. Now, remember, everything I've talked about is based on a monthly charge, you could try any of these services and then cancel them the next month. It's not a contractual year, two year, or anything like that. Okay. Except maybe the you know the thing with Comcast, but I'm not talking about that. So let's talk about different subscribers. Okay. As of February of this year, okay, Disney Plus has surpassed 28 million subscribers. So imagine this actually came out in October. Okay. And I'm not sure if they're they're still pushing this, but through Verizon, you could actually get Disney Plus free for a year. Okay. Uh, I'm not sure if they're still doing that anymore. If you had Disney, if you had unlimited with the Verizon, they were giving Disney Plus away for a year. I haven't seen commercials for that in a while, so maybe maybe not. HBO is kind of switching over to HBO Max, so they're trying to be more aggressive with that new service. So just remember that Disney owns 60% or more, we're not 100% sure, of Hulu. So this is kind of their double thing. And within, since October, this is how big that's big been. Disney Plus is a fantastic service. It has lots and lots of stuff on there and a lot of back catalog stuff as well. A lot of live action of uh, classic Disney movies and TV shows that they've, haven't shown anywhere in a long time and I think some of that stuff you may not even be able to find on DVD even if you wanted to and definitely not on any other streaming service so there you go right there uh, so now's the time let's talk about the new Mulan movie okay so basically because we're all staying home and staying safe <laughs> You can't, um, we can't go to the movie theater because we're staying safe and everything for friends and family members. So, in our community. So, we can't go to the movie theater. We don't want to spread anything or catch anything. So, what Disney's done is this fantastic movie. It has a lot of belief in it. I think it looks really good personally. It's the new live action Mulan movie. So, what they've decided to do is basically release it because they can't release it on you know into the movie theaters they're going to do it directly to us but with a premium price now the price is thirty dollars okay but of course they very quickly say 
Well, if you were a family of three, even, I'll even just say three, if you were a family of three or four and you went to the movie theater, you would definitely pay more than $30 to see the movie, okay? Of course, it depends on when you go and if you had a coupon and all, I know all that. But in some big cities, remember, they charge more in our area. You know, it's not as much and there's special days you can go, you know, we used to and all that. But still, so to them, the $30 is not a big deal. But the issue is this. They are allowing it on some of the other services, but mostly they're selling it on Disney+. Plus. The issue with that is you pay $30, and as long as you are a Disney Plus subscriber, you can watch the movie. Okay? But if you cancel your Disney Plus subscription, then you don't have access to Mulan anymore. Now, they may change that. They may see a backlash on that. We're trying something out new. I do know that Disney has, um, you know, Disney Marvel has some movies like uh, the Black Widow movie in the can and it's ready. And there's some other movies that they were supposed to have already come out, you know, like in June that they have put on hold or they've even pushed to directly to Disney Plus, the regular fee. But some people say, why should I pay $30 when in six months, maybe to a year, Mulan will already be on Disney Plus, okay? Or it'll be on one of my other streaming services, okay? So there you go right there. So you have to kind of make that decision for yourself. But again, like I said, our new content's gonna start drying up really quick. You can feel it already, but usually it's gonna hit us really bad here in the fall when a lot of the TV shows and stuff uh, just say we're going to show reruns because we don't have new new shows. Uh, so they're going to try their do their best to focus on other stuff, and maybe even small game shows and stuff like that will take place or precedent precedent um, than other stuff. So do be aware that is coming. Okay. All right. Now we'll go ahead and finish up there. So I'll pause for a second. Any questions? about some of our streaming services and stuff that we talked about. Do you have a favorite streaming service? Is there a channel you can't live without? Could you get it on one of these live streaming TV channels? Maybe you're not that particular. Maybe it's certain things that you like. Maybe you could try out Pluto TV. I've had those that I've told about Pluto TV and she's like, it's great. I got four channels on there that showing shows I absolutely love 24 hours. And then there's the mystery shows and then there's like a love movie net channel. And she said, I'm watching it more than I am watching Comcast. So, and like I said, Comcast isn't, uh, you know, if you can't beat them, join them. That Comcast flex box I showed, it actually has Pluto TV already installed on it which is interesting and some of the other uh, live you know live services like that for free okay one of the things I'll, I'll get told too is I'll get folks coming to class and their um, uh, contract with whichever service they have will be up and they may not even realize it well, when your contract's up, you can go back in and you know call them. That's the best thing to do. Call them, talk to them, ask them, "Hey, you got a better deal for me? Hey, I'm out of my contract. You know what can you offer me? Because you could actually cancel." Okay. So now that would be a good time to negotiate a better contract, maybe a better service. Maybe they'll throw some things in. Maybe they'll give you a discount. And a, a honest, an honest call that calls in and said, hey, this bill is too much. Is there some channels we can knock off here? Or I've got three of the boxes I'm renting from you and it's a guest bedroom and, and people aren't visiting right now. So can we, can I cancel that box for right now and save that money? Another way to save money too, and I've done this personally is is to buy your own uh, modem, router, Wi-Fi, hotspot box. So if you're renting from Comcast, 
or one of those services it's great because if it breaks that means they'll come out and fix it but uh, for the first year of having Comcast I moved to a new house and I looked up and basically ran the box with something like $12 a month and I did the math and I figured out and I said okay so within the first year if I go to Best Buy and buy my own modem okay Wi-Fi hotspot modem if I buy that then after the first year um, this box will actually be paying me 12 bucks a month so that's exactly what's happened so within the past I think two or three months ago uh, that year was up so I'm actually technically saving $12 a month because I bought the box um, just all out when I first started my service okay it was very easy to set up with them so basically went to Comcast and they had um, uh, labels on the box that said uh, which ones to get and the lady working there I was like well I need a comment was like it's right there and I already knew which one I wanted but if I hadn't known which one it would have been great oh a little side note uh, a lot of these do offer cloud recording services too so keep that in mind as well Hulu has it and it's free okay let's talk about cutting our phone cord just a minute here you may or may not have done this <gasps> was that a CG character came in and just did a little jump that's right uh, so basically I'm talking about this because I'll have folks come in and say hey tell people about cutting the phone cord if they want to or see what their options are so this again is included because of feedback and I had three people ask me about this and asked if I would include it in the future so here we are so for the US 52 percent of homes are wireless uh, only cell phones okay 52 percent uh, 20 percent use true landlines the old-school copper wires that go in with the telephone company AT&T and stuff the other 25 percent of the households with landlines are actually using VOIP voice over internet protocol now that basically means internet um, using uh, doing voice calls having um, Vonage or any of those services have a device uh, Comcast does a modem like that you basically plug in a normal telephone and it's just like having a phone line but it's cheaper the only negative thing is electricity cuts out and the internet cuts out you're not making a phone call okay so uh, that's the only negative things with that uh, so some of the security that maybe we've had in the past with the storm or whatever uh, that doesn't work anymore <laughs> all right so let's look down here at our cost so a traditional phone line if you go to AT&T's website locally here it actually says 35 37 dollars a month with no long distance okay with unlimited domestic long distance calls at 64 dollars a month okay so that's your normal AT&T probably still got the line in your house uh, you know wires the Comcast VOIP bundle it, it adds about six dollars more to your your internet bill you have to have the right modem for it uh, to work if you use other features like Vonage it can be twenty five dollars a month and a lot of the times they'll throw in the, the box as well now I don't know how exactly how to say it, this one Ub Ub Ubama Ubama or whatever uh, this is one that I hear some people use it's $99 for the for the device and then it's free long distance calls okay the only problem is and it's listed on their website is that there is a hidden you have to do a four dollar a month tax on it so you will have to be paying four dollars because there's a tax uh, some of these services may have a tax that it's not listed as well um, with the telephone now with a lot of us going to their cell phones we want to make it we can have a limited calling or we can actually call someone internationally using Skype Facebook or anything like that or some of the other apps so less and less we're really needing to have you know a physical phone line or even an actual even cell phone call because we can we have internet and they have internet then we can connect to each other using the app okay all right so that's just a little bit of help Maybe help save you a little money, give you some other options on there. 
Maybe you still want the traditional phone line for like 911 stuff like that, but you don't want to have to pay the all the other premium stuff, call ID. Just call them, talk to them, see what they have to offer. Any of these services that you're already using, you may be paying for some kind of rental thing that you may not even realize, okay? So let's talk about our future. The future. Well, our future is TV everywhere. Okay, that's what we really want. Okay, every show, every movie available, that's what we want in the future. We want to be able to, if we're waiting in line somewhere, pull up our phone, entertain us, or we, we're you know waiting for the someone to bring food, pull up our, our phone, see what's in the news, go see what's going on. That's what we want to do. Now, the big thing that's coming, of course, is 5G. Uh, there's someone that spoke a while back. They said slow internet, like the late 90s, uh, the early 2000s. That's really not what the internet is until we get absolutely true, easy to connect internet. That's when the actual future internet will start. Okay. 5G is our next step towards that future. Okay. It's not the end all be all, but it's the next step. And I'm hoping along with a lot of folks that the 5G doesn't mean that we go back to the, the data plans where you can only use so much data. Unlimited doesn't exist anymore and it's an asterisk next to the term unlimited. So hopefully that's going to work out and not be a repeat of what they did with 3G and then a repeat again what they did with 4G and then they're going to do the same thing with 5G so there'll be at least two, three maybe even four years in there where we start to start counting data again and family plans with limited data and all that. So hopefully that's not going to happen again, but knowing, knowing them, they probably will do that to us again. Um, ATSC signal from our antenna. I actually heard an article today that um, in some places in Idaho, they're trying that out and the TVs basically have hard drives and they actually receive like movies and TV shows and it caches it, not just recording it, but it caches it so it's more like an on-demand and it'll have the, the, the point three that'll come out in the future will actually have full screen antenna, um, you know, uh, showing what's on TV. Some TVs will do that, Samsung TVs will do that as long as they're connected to the internet, okay? Uh, depends on what model on-screen guide and of course jump into 4k the antenna is already ready for 4k which is actually pretty exciting um, but what's a 4k it's just a higher resolution TV than 1080p so imagine 1080p is basically 1k this is 4k it's a higher resolution TV and we're basically getting to the point that our human eyes can't um, tell the difference because our sight isn't that great so we're not all of a sudden going to have 100K because that won't matter to us because we can't see that well as human beings. All right, so in the future, more channels, higher quality without the need for a large antenna, okay? Better signal quality, easier to receive. All right, so I have a homework for you. Homework, homework, homework. And this is in your best interest. <laughs> So I recommend you just pulling out a sheet of paper, pulling up a, a little note on your phone. What do you watch? Okay. So maybe just kind of make a few notes of what cha channels you watch. What shows are you watching? Is there a way that you could get it later? With Netflix, maybe you could wait six months and then that show will be, a whole season will be available on Netflix instead of, you know, paying for it on uh, Comcast or whatever and pay to record it DVR and all that. Um, so kind of think about that, write down what it is, maybe able to get it cheaper, maybe able to get it, save money. And again, if you could save 50 bucks a month, what would you do with $50 a month? That's like penny saved, penny earned, as Benjamin Franklin would say, just like you just got a new job and made 50 bucks more a month. Okay. Here's a list of our resources here. Uh, here's a big one. Our digital TV resource from the government is actually dtv.gov the FCC website talks a little bit more about our um, digital TV maps 
There's our antenna point website I mentioned. There's a whole bunch of them there. If you do want to know what kind of stuff's on Netflix, Amazon, the HBO service, they used to have Hulu, but they don't anymore. Go to instantwatcher.com and you can actually look at all that content and search it. Uh, there's a great website called Just Watch. Download the app and its goal is you type in a movie or TV show and it pulls up and tries to find out which surface has that, okay? So you pop in your head, hey, I want to see so-and-so movie, type that in, see which service has it, and then you might be able to watch what you want to watch when you want to watch it, okay? There's Sling TV talking about local channels, uh, CNET talking about the, the television thing, and believe it or not, the, there is a 911.gov which gives you more information about dialing 911 in your area and also what the features are of that. Supposedly, uh, about a year or two ago, our 911 service here in Columbia County actually upgraded, um, but I'm not 100% sure. If you want information about the repacking that I talked about earlier, you can go to tvanswers.org and they'll discuss that and they actually have a list of places that are doing the repack, okay? I believe near the end of the year, um, our repack will actually be finished, okay? So, there you go right there. <laughs> Put a little light on the subject here. There you go. Yay, there I am, okay. So, uh, for next time, we'll actually get the background to work like it has been. I don't know why it's different or what's changed, but we'll get that working. So, any questions? Hmm. Okay, so tomorrow uh, we're actually going to be doing our Raspberry Pi, excuse me, our Chess 101 in the morning at 11 o'clock. So, come join me for that. It's a fun class, and we'll get to talk about chess a little bit. Oh, make can go this way. We'll talk about me and playing a good game of chess. It will be lots of fun and very stimulating, and we'll learn a lot. See you later. See you then. Okay, did you like that? I didn't know that the, the horse from the night was going to show up and talk to us. So I'm very pleased with that. All right, and then we're actually going to be doing library and resources app tomorrow uh, tomorrow afternoon. So if you want to learn more about ebooks, audio e audio books, all kinds of stuff in the library, the Acorn TV, and also the Indie Flix app. I didn't even talk about that, and that has free movies and TV too through the library. Come join us for that. And then on Thursday, we're going to be doing YouTube 101. Want to become a YouTube star? Make money with YouTube. We'll talk about that. There is a big hurdle, something about 10,000 subscribers and other information on there to be able to even start that program. But we'll talk about it. And in the afternoon, we're going to be doing Raspberry Pi projects with me, Alex. And I think we're going to start off with our little music making machine. We'll work out that. I'll have a list of resources you'll have. And then it'll just be kind of me uh, working on and building the project. So, let me move here. So you can actually see the, the thing that makes it a little bit better there, doesn't it? <laughs> All right, just remember our libraries are open with limited, limited services and hours. Curbside Holds Pickup is available. And you can go to gchrl.org for details. Of course, you can call into the library with questions Monday through Friday. 10 a.m. to 5 p.m. Don't forget to like us on Facebook and subscribe to be up to date. Subscribe to our YouTube channel. And some people say ring that bell so you'll be notified when we post something uh, new as well. And if you're on, you're currently on our YouTube channel, but if you're trying to find our YouTube channel, its name is GCHRL Videos. So thank you for coming. Please share with friends or family, and so glad that you are here. So have a wonderful Tuesday. The sun is shining. Stay safe. Go outside and get a little bit of exercise in our sun, sunshine and everything, and I'll see you guys next time, hopefully tomorrow or one of our other classes. Thanks so much for being here. <laughs>
<laughs> Have a great day. Thank you.